you might be in a relationship and um, you think we are a team me and my partner we are a team but actually your partner is the kind of person who is married yes but he doesn't know how to be a team it doesn't only happen in men it happens also in women that the person is with you as a team but the person likes to do his or her own thing separately secretly like the person doesn't want to be married every time you see the person the person just doing his own thing though you guys as a team are in this relationship but this is not a reason why you should leave the relationship or think I'm married to the wrong person. It's all about time. Because with time, the person will learn that you people are team. And this you can do by not separating from the person's plan or your plan. You have to make sure you are including the person in everything you are doing. It's just this kind of person who all his life, he has been alone. Maybe he never had any friend of his that when they do things, they do it together. He was not doing together with the sisters. This thing is like something new to the person. Not that the person is trying to be wicked to you. It's just like someone who is stingy, who is not giving his female partner anything. Most of them who are like this, they're not like this because they want to or it's making fun. It's not fun for them to be like that. I don't know if you know this thing that sometimes you wish to do something or correct something, but every time you see yourself falling into that, repeating that, doing that, and whenever you do it, you're like, oh, I've done this again. It's something that the person needs a reminder. So you keep doing the teamwork with the person to program the person, reprogram the person into being a team, getting used to having you as his team or the person who is not giving, when you keep asking the person and appreciating the person, the person will come to know that it's his responsibility to be a little bit generous than being so stingy. All these things. Mm -hmm. We might be married before and come into this relationship. But what happens is that this person we are seeing here is not the person we saw before, that we are married to before. So, we start learning this person and then studying this person, trying to know which strategy, how can we come into this person's life or into the person's heart? If the person will be able to open up his heart or her heart to us in order to let us know how to follow this person. Sometimes it's difficult. It's just like breaking a wall, trying to break the bricks. To get in because sometimes you're even knocking and saying open up your heart to me and it's difficult for the person to open it but most times because of the trust when the person have no trust people have taught him he's afraid of what people are all about and stories we had sometimes make us think ah oh, or make us have some doubts in our head that's making us not to allow someone a chance into our life or into our hearts this can be the reasons. But when we start doing some things that will make the person trust us, it can make it easier for the person to give us that chance. And it wouldn't be good when that person gives us that chance. We disappoint the person because when we get the chance, we might not be able to get it again. So this is all what I thought I would have known before I get married i wish someone would have told me about all of this before i could get married or start any relationship at all because some of these things i never thought about them my name is Chama. thank you once more for coming to join me if you have not subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe to my channel and please give this video a thumbs up if you like it share my video welcome back i know that you two thought that relationship was all about good vibes because we forget one thing that when we meet somebody 
the person is supposed to be nice when we meet people we are usually nice to the person how are you doing how is work are you working i want to get to know you this is all about good exchange of greetings from this we can never see the real person in this person and mostly when it's fresh the person has not done you anything there's nothing you are having in your mind that the person has done to upset you no grudge just nothing it's all about being friendly lovable likable ah oh, this pleasantries until the relationship starts to grow and we start to unfold ourselves and the devil in us and some of the evil plants in us start to unravel we get to know the real person we are dealing with if you should be smiling here get serious be cautious or work out of this relationship so somebody would have told me and warned me i wish that i was told these things i'm about to discuss with you today so i'm talking now about this relationship i didn't know that relationship marriage is like a contract an assignment which one should do with all carefulness knowing that the person you are dealing with is watching you trying to know the kind of person you are your moves especially how you spend how you save how you treat these relations but it would be good if we also expect to do those things we expect from that person not only expecting the best from the other person and we're not expecting that much from ourselves to give that person because when we expect someone to treat us so right do us no harm tell us no evil get no angry with us we are also supposed to handle this person the same way we wish and expect to be handled this is the best way to love and keep a relationship we want to treat the person exactly like ourselves each step we want to make we ask ourselves this thing we want to do, say, what we're understanding from the person's action, would it be good if the person is understanding our own action like this? So it's all about this contract. How we are going to go into this journey, handle each other, and also try to progress in our life to achieve our aims and be satisfied in the rest of our life this is all about it then most people couldn't get information like me about how money should be shared spent in a relationship and some partners have this problem but never agrees to come out and say if this is a problem let's find a way to solve this problem like me i'm just like a sol problem solver so when i have a problem i wish to know what this problem is all about and i wish so much to solve this problem as fast as possible but there are some people which i was not well informed that someone will have something that is bothering him or her and the person is not making any effort to solve this problem like whenever you hear around you hear people are talking about money 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 the children get the benefits the social the all that people will get money in a family and every time they are making faces at their husband at their wife for having the lion's share but one of them will never agree to come out and say how do we handle money how can we solve this problem of handling money in order that everybody is satisfied how do we pay the bills how do we make our expenses how do we give money to our parents what do we do they never talk about it 
and the problem remains here mostly in african marriages sorry please without due respect because i've been in another marriage i was married to a german the way they do their things is different from what african people are doing and most people don't like to discuss it that is the truth when you hear around you hear a lot of things even in your own home you will know that this kind of a thing happens but even at that no one wants to discuss and talk about this and this is somehow how i would say i like the german there's nothing like you have a problem this problem is going to destroy us and it's going to be a very huge problem in our life in the future why don't you bring out this problem cut it off settle it you go to bed and sleep the other person goes to bed and sleep why do we like trouble why do we like to bother ourselves for nothing and sometimes some people now say okay she has all this money and she is eating it let me allow her to eat it and let it be but actually you didn't really let it go and when you didn't let it go what will happen is that you keep suffering you keep bearing this pain you wouldn't have a rest of mind so sometimes it's good to let things go and really let them go to so set yourself free or insist on dividing it sharing it or saying let's settle this matter in order to have this matter behind you so i'm trying to tell you what the problems are and the solution to those problems in order to have a good relationship with your partner and to have peace and rest of mind there's nothing like that having peaceful mind when you see the person you'll be able to smile from deep down your heart and live in peace there's nothing like having a peaceful mind and having a life that when you ask yourself you say oh god i love my life i love this life i love this relationship i'm in love with my family or my relationship that i wish if there would be time to come again to this world i would like to have this relationship again but because of some things that are biting us they're biting us they're biting us there that we refuse to settle these things are disturbing us more than the bills more than every other problem the sicknesses are disturbing us and we sit in it and we mm, fake smile and worry our head over things that are just small something we could just settle and have peace and rest of mind for the rest of our life and relax i say thank god I am living. Thank God this well. But most of the reasons why people even don't talk about this or try to settle this problem is that some people who doesn't want this problem to be solved simply because they are getting much from it. They are the most people who don't want to solve this problem. So the best way to go about it is, is that one should insist on solving this problem because that person cannot be having rest of mind and you are not. Or you let go like I said before and let go completely and find how to help your life and believe that if it's love you have find you say it to yourself i find love since others cannot have love let me have love then there are some people who got money because they're married to rich people and they couldn't have love couldn't have relationship couldn't have this you know clear attention in a relationship so what is utmost in our mind we should go for it but what we still want in our relationship we should fight hard to get it in order to be fulfilled in our life so another thing will be when there's a problem in a relationship society mostly the african society believes that the peace in a marriage is in the hands of a woman is in a woman's power or ideas to find a way to solve the problem in their family this i never really knew i wish someone told me that it doesn't matter what happened if it's my fault if it's the man's fault you as a woman should have the courage the power to endure bear the pain and take it up as your duty to make sure there's peace in your family i never knew this i hope and I wish 
somebody would have told me this because I'm this kind of person who think if you do something wrong, you should ask for forgiveness. It doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. But there's this way I never knew about. This way of if you're the woman, you do something wrong, you say, please, I'm sorry. And if you're a man, you did something wrong, the woman should still go and say, I'm sorry. So I asked myself, is this existing in our time now? Or is it what our parents are telling us to advise us to live in the world that we didn't see when they were growing up? Or are other women still practicing this kind of lifestyle of even if you're wrong, even if your husband now went and married another wife and it hurts you and this day you say some things and he should be angry with you without talking to you or being nice to you again as someone who is guilty who has hurt you that he should still bear your grudge and they make first and you should go and beg him this i really want to hear because i've had this one and this one hit me another place that it doesn't matter what is going on in the family that the woman should make sure that she's the one making peace even when they have wronged you i said someone would have told me about this one because this one i would love to have had this before i came into marriage or into a relationship i can't believe this at all and another one is that it doesn't matter how pretty you are or how you are holding your household to make it good and then to make it strong or make your relationship last. Anything at all, starting from you didn't have a male child to you didn't have a child, you couldn't satisfy him, you can't cook good food. Anything that a man does not get enough in his household, he must go outside and look for it. <laughs> follow me and listen to this one that the man must make sure he goes outside to look for that thing he couldn't get from you he must get it there is no way he can be lying to you making you believe all what he wants to make you believe but the truth still remains that he must go outside and satisfy himself as oh god I ate this melon soup today it was so sweet after all, my wife cannot make it so good like this. This one. <clears throat> I'm sorry I have to say this. This one hits me another place because uh, I don't understand this one. So these are some of the things we hear. <sighs> because most women cannot really say, I was there. I saw when he did this. Because most times you can't catch him red-handed. But even at that, this one is so Helpful. This one, I don't know how to be at this one upon all what we do. That somehow you should have it in your mind that the man must go somewhere to look for what he didn't get or what he couldn't get from you. This is too much. One that is so funny and somehow unbelievable is that most men. Can be in a relationship with you but it's difficult for them to stick to one particular woman in all these years people are having this relationship it's so hard for him to stick to just one woman and say this is the only woman the way women stick to one man he must say one day let me see what is going on in the other person outside oh this is <laughs> this is so bad i oh, feel like crying whenever i hear this one i it's uh, it gives me this chill uh, body my but i don't know how to feel about this one that you stay and you think oh i found him and he's mine but some grown-up women and some people who have experience are saying it's impossible that that man will stick to you and just only you. It does not really mean that there are some men who are not faithful. There are some men who 
in the other hand just like the other ones who don't stick to one woman there are some men if you're lucky to have a good one who will never see another woman no matter what happened because they stick to one woman so i wish you luck i don't know which one you will find but whichever i wish you luck so for me these are few of the things i wish i knew that before i could get into relationship with anybody at least to have it at the back of my mind that is like this thank you so much for watching my video today i appreciate you coming to watch my video most times and i'm happy you are here wish to see you next time in my next video bye